This is very, very exciting for this county. It shows a commitment that this county school district and the county and the two cities are making towards education. Uh, this is one of several things we're doing jointly to support what's going on in the community, to support the center project that the county is putting over $100 million in to bring some high-tech jobs, high growth, higher, higher property values into our neighborhood. It's very fascinating what's in there. It's going to bring a different level of excitement to kids, I think, than what they've had the opportunities to see in the past. And this enables it to move from school to school as opposed to being able to make a huge investment in the software and technology that's in this bus. Okay. Uh, about three years ago, we only had two schools that were really engaged in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And now we have 18 schools that are totally engaged in STEM. About two and a half years ago, the commissioners were at a meeting with the school board members and myself and we went to, through a tour of a school that was doing the, the actual STEM programs and the commissioners said, how can we help you? Just look at the number of people who were in, involved in expanding our STEM program. Thank them for what they have done. This is great, we're excited for you and I can't wait to see how well you all achieve with this. Thank you all for coming out today, and now we're ready for our ribbon cutting. One, two, three. We're putting this mobile lab together gives the children a different experience and they engage in different activities that they would in their regular classrooms and also work as team members, which they will in the future, and create an environment of workforce citizens who will be able to understand basically what our future holds for them. Okay, my name is Joe Luciano and welcome to the Osceola County STEM Lab, Mobile STEM Lab. And what we're doing is we're providing experience for our students that's all tied to curriculum, that's tied to activities that the students are able to experience STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And we hope that, they are, that we can help them choose careers in these STEM areas, uh, if, if not, I choose a career but understand the importance of STEM in any career that they choose. I'm Sonia Morris with the Florida Department of Education. I am the Bureau Chief of Federal Educational Programs and I oversee in that capacity the Title I Part A program. I think this is an amazing facility. I think we need to see more of these replicated for our kids. I think this is a good way for them to get hands-on experience with STEM and STEM activities. We all know that STEM activities certainly is a gateway for our high performance and getting into college and things like that. So I'd love to see more of these around our state.